Hey guys, so recently I got a graphic tablet from the company Gaemon. They asked me to review it, so that's what I'm gonna be doing today. We're gonna be doing an unboxing and a review. This is my genuine review, what I actually feel about the tablet. So yeah, let's go. The box, the box looks, looks pretty solid. Has all the details it needs to have on the back of it. So let's just open it. So in the box we have the actual tablet itself, we'll get to that later. The drawing pen. Cables. Power, of course. And additions to that. We also have the pen holder. also instructions. With the instructions you also get the glove that's how it looks like let me try it on It looks like on hand. It has a pretty nice feel to it. Fits perfectly. We have the driver manual. The instructions. We're not really gonna get over all of those instructions. But yeah, we got instructions. And also the warranty card with some fancy text on it right power is pretty self-explanatory so we're just gonna move this aside for the cables we have a pretty long set of cords those two go into the actual tablet itself and those two go to the PC. This goes to the power supply. And also, inside the pen holder, we have additional tips for the pen. There's eight of them, I believe. The actual pen itself looks pretty neat. It has a very, very good feel to it. It's not slipping. And let's move to the tablet. The tablet has eight programmable keys. Let's peel off the mask. That's how the tablet actually looks like without any masks and without the packaging. So, let's talk a bit about the tablet itself. It features a battery-free pen AP50 with 8192 pressure sensitivity points. This is quite useful mostly when coloring, as you don't have to change the pen size all the time when you want to color any smaller spaces. You can just put less pressure on the pen and it will automatically change the brush size. The work area on the tablet is 11.6 inches and the tablet includes 8 shortcut keys, all customizable. The screen is a FHD IPS with 1920 by 1080 resolution. The tablet itself is very lightweight and portable. Not to mention the pen also features a 60 degree tilt support. The screen feels more like paper to draw on than glass, 
which is a huge plus to the tablet, because drawing on glass just feels a little bit off. Here, you can have an example of how the tablet is portrayed by the company, and how it looks like in real life. I'd say that's nearly the exact same for me. Now, let's talk a bit about how it feels to draw on this tablet. As you can clearly see, I am a beginner at drawing, hence I never used a graphics tablet. After the tablet arrived, I started to draw on it every day, and even though this tablet is used by professionals, using it to learn drawing is a very exciting experience. I tried digital drawing many times before, but that was when I was drawing with a mouse, and always after some time I just give up because I thought it wasn't for me. Now that I've got this tablet, it, it's changed. After first few drawings, I could already tell the difference. Using this tablet is significantly more enjoyable than using a mouse. There are some problems with it, and I'm going to get through them with you right now. As for the tablet itself, there's no problems. It all works as it should, but the pen is not 100% accurate with the cursor. In here you can see that the cursor is slightly off the tip of my pen. Thankfully this isn't a really big problem, I never mistakenly clicked something that I didn't want to click. You really can't tell the difference unless you are really trying to squeeze into a certain spot on your drawing to color it. Another issue will be that this tablet does not come with a stand, so you're gonna have to buy it separately if you were looking for a stand to it. For me, it's not really that much of an issue, because I prefer to have my tablet laying, than having it to stand. I like to use my tablet just like if it was a piece of paper. Installing the drivers wasn't any trouble. All you need to do is download them from the Gaomon website, extract it, run the installation program, and you're all set up! So in conclusion, I think that this is a really great tablet, as well as professionals, as for beginners. The problems are not really that big of an issue, and they are hardly noticeable. I included a link in the description if any of you would like to check out the tablet yourself. I guess I see you in the next video.